I think it's uh, kind of, you know, every episode, as the writers evolve the concept, um, everything is so nascent when we get it and raw, and, and that's what's one of the greatest things about this show is, is that Alex allows them to share with us from very, very early stages. So by the time we, you know, get past that primary and secondary, what we're putting on screen is a tertiary third layer of that idea. So the writers give us that first step in the evolution. And uh, I don't know that I have a favorite makeup, but I have a favorite part of the process. And it's always that part, you know, it's always that part where the writers are telling us what they think it is and how we find ways to go back to canon because we're all huge fans um, and, and finding ways to bring that to life with modern technology and, and telling the stories that the writers are writing in, in a new, fresh, and, and hopefully exciting way. So it was the Talosians. So they're uh, three, three, three and a half hour makeups. We did two of them uh, for about eight days. It was, um, they're very, uh, what's the right word? Well, it, it, they're just it, so absolutely, better, no, the iconography, I, I, we, we freaked out over these guys because yeah. when you talk about the Telosians, I don't know how many Trek fans that we have, Trekkies, all right, I'll be one. very careful <laughs> about Trekkies and Trekkers, but for all the fans out there like us that grew up on it, yeah. um, Telosians are technically the first alien species yeah. ever to grace the screen in Star Trek, so... You cannot be m more cautious than we were yeah. in the handling of these characters and, and making sure that we yeah. honored them, but also evolved them and updated them. And so Nev's designs uh, digitally allowed us to explore a lot of concepts before we, we created the makeup. On set, I get to, uh, we get to put them all on again at, for the second time. It's, it's very cool to be able to redo it a second time. Not, not for better, but just a, a newer products and newer materials we get to play around with today, probably what they didn't have back then. So also the Telosians are, um, the, some of our other alien species are a little more efficacious in, in, in our approach in terms of design, because when you look at um, Linus the Saurian who, who debuted in, in season two, am I right about that? Yeah. So uh, Alex literally called us up and said, what species do you guys want to work with? And the Saurian species is probably the single most discussed species without ever seeing one, because we always talk about Saurian brandy going back to TOS, the original series, right? So. Um, when we were doing the Telosians, they're a little tougher because they don't have scales and they're not green and they're not blue. They have to look almost human. So trying to get that, that concept of them being alien, yet having the same skin tones as normal humans and blending it off perfectly, that's, that's all these guys in the trailer. Like the makeups could not have been more difficult. Yeah, they, were, they were gorgeous. Really makeups. hard, really, really tough for the onset team.